to use a laser adapted to um, the helicopter or small aircraft. There is a new civilization, new culture waiting for us to study them. It's uh, sort of a dream coming true. Around 2,500 years ago, deep in the Upano Valley of the Andes Mountains in eastern Ecuador, a thriving civilization once flourished, located beneath a volcano. Nobody expected that kind of, of society in that region. That's a new thing, yeah, to find a densely populated area with settlements much larger than before. This ancient society harnessed the rich soil for prosperity, yet that same force of nature may have led to its demise. What's incredible is the discovery of a vast network of roads and canals linking their homes, plazas, and history, making this the oldest known site in the Amazon. While many imagined ancient Amazonians as nomadic or living in tiny settlements, this urban society defied all expectations, thriving for nearly 1,500 years. And with the power of laser technology, experts are uncovering even more lost cities throughout the Amazon. But just how advanced were these ancient Amazonians? Let's rewind a bit. In 1925, British explorer Percy Fawcett vanished deep in the Amazon on his eighth expedition, chasing the ruins of a lost city he called Z. For years, rumors circulated about ancient cities hidden in the jungle, filled with people and riches. But Fawcett never found his city, and experts at the time doubted the Amazon could ever support such civilizations. The rainforest was too wild, too remote, and too harsh. For decades, this idea persisted. Until recently, scientists have started uncovering evidence that changes everything. Scattered across the Amazon, man-made ditches and mounds suggest that not only did ancient cities exist here, but they were more advanced than anyone imagined. These findings are reshaping how we think about the past of this vast region. Back in the 16th century, when European colonizers poured into Central and South America, they encountered sprawling cities built by indigenous peoples. Cities like Tenochtitlan and Cusco boasted sophisticated architecture and urban planning. Inspired by these great civilizations, rumors of another hidden city, a golden one, spread like wildfire. This became the legendary El Dorado, a city supposedly covered in gold, hidden deep in the Amazon. But no one ever found it. While explorers came back with stories of vast towns, glittering cities, and rich chiefs, starvation, disease, and death claimed most expeditions. By the 19th century, El Dorado was dismissed as a myth. Yet, Fawcett believed in the stories. For two decades, he searched the western and southern Amazon, meeting indigenous people living in small villages but never finding the grand stone cities. Despite this, he was convinced. In his final letter to his wife, he wrote, You need have no fear of any failure. He left his camp and was never seen again. For the next several decades, the Amazon was believed to have always been sparsely populated. But Fawcett, it turns out, was looking in the right place, just for the wrong thing. In the 1960s, scientists uncovered a key clue, patches of incredibly fertile soil, known as terra preta, or black earth. This nutrient-rich soil, found throughout the Amazon, was created by human activity, likely through waste or controlled burns. Its discovery proved that large-scale agriculture was not only possible in the Amazon, but had likely been practiced for centuries. In the 1990s, another breakthrough came along the Xingu River in Brazil. Dr. Michael Heckenberger and his team unearthed massive ditches that, when mapped, revealed the remnants of an ancient settlement. These ditches once formed walls, plazas, and roads, 
connecting a network of settlements. Covering an area the size of New Jersey, this network housed an estimated 50,000 people between 1250 and 1650 AD. These settlements were not only advanced, but sustainable, with areas designated for gardens, orchards, and forested zones for animals and medicinal plants. These were the lost cities of the Amazon, vast sophisticated societies that thrived in harmony with the rainforest. And this discovery was just the beginning. Many more lost cities lay hidden beneath the trees. In recent decades, archaeologists have unearthed incredible evidence of large ancient settlements scattered throughout the Amazon. A series of trenches dating back to 200 to 1200 AD suggests communities that could have supported as many as 60,000 people, far larger than many European cities of that era. But the discoveries didn't stop there. In Bolivia, satellite technology revealed the remnants of massive U-shaped buildings atop pyramids that rise 22 meters tall. Using LiDAR technology to penetrate the thick jungle canopy, researchers found pyramids standing 20 meters high, uncovering a bustling civilization hidden beneath the trees. This region, once considered insignificant to archaeologists, is now seen as a treasure trove of ancient secrets. Archaeologist Heiko Prumas has spent most of his career in Amazonia, where people once doubted the region could support anything beyond small tribes. But Heiko knew better. In 1999, he began investigating large mounds in Bolivia's Llanos de Mojos, often dismissed as rubbish heaps. However, beneath the vegetation and soil, his team discovered something remarkable. Rectangular platforms, graves, and artifacts that hinted at a complex society with a clear social hierarchy. In one excavation alone, they found 120 graves, some with offerings, indicating these people held significant status. The more they dug, the more they realized how advanced this civilization truly was. What had long been overlooked was now revealed to be a thriving, organized society. So, in 2019, Heiko's team took to the skies, aiming to uncover the true scale of an ancient civilization hidden beneath the Amazon's dense canopy. Equipped with LiDAR technology, they weren't just flying blind. LiDAR, a laser system mounted on helicopters, mapped the landscape below by sending out laser pulses that measured distances to objects. The magic? It digitally wiped away the thick vegetation, revealing what was long thought to be impossible. What they found was astonishing. Underneath the lush jungle were rectangular platforms, towering pyramids, defensive structures, canals, reservoirs, and long, straight roads connecting hundreds of settlements. From the sky, you'd see nothing but endless trees, but the LiDAR images told a completely different story. It became clear. This wasn't just small, scattered tribes, but a thriving, interconnected civilization. This discovery has turned everything archaeologists thought they knew about the Amazon upside down. For decades, the assumption was that the region's people lived without agriculture, relying solely on the land's natural bounty. But this discovery shows otherwise. A sedentary, agricultural society with large, organized communities. The settlements, part of the Kasarabi culture, leave more questions than answers. Heiko Prumas admits that the story is only beginning to unfold. With just two sites excavated, he knows patience is key. There's so much left to discover, and the next generation of archaeologists will have their hands full. But for Heiko, after 20 years of work, this discovery feels like the culmination of a lifelong dream, uncovering a new civilization. That's something he's proud of. And now recently, in January 2024, Stephen Rostain also made a groundbreaking discovery in the Upano Valley, at the foothills of the Andes, in eastern Ecuador. 
For years, excavations had been ongoing, but no one knew the true scale of this lost civilization until LiDAR technology came into play again. A survey conducted over 300 square kilometers using laser sensors mounted on a plane revealed something incredible. 6,000 rectangular platforms, each about 20 by 10 meters and standing two to three meters high. These platforms weren't random. Many were arranged in clusters of three to six, centered around a plaza and connected by an intricate network of roads. One of the most striking roads stretched 25 kilometers, around 16 miles. Researchers believe these platforms served as homes, with larger ones likely used for ceremonies. In one area, Kilimopi, they found a massive platform measuring 140 by 40 meters, built by cutting into the hills and leveling the top. Named the Kilimope and Upano people, these ancient settlers were likely focused on agriculture, cultivating crops like maize and sweet potatoes. They may have even brewed chicha, a traditional sweet beer. But what truly sets this civilization apart is its advanced road system. The roads were designed with right angles, an engineering feat that required altering the terrain to keep them straight. A remarkable achievement, akin to the grid systems seen in modern cities like New York. Much like Teotihuacan in Mexico, the central roads connected settlements, serving as hubs for trade and social gatherings. Some ditches even suggest that these cities had to defend themselves from external threats, blocking entrances to protect their people. Experts are now coming to a stunning conclusion. Millions of people once called the lost cities of the Amazon home. But when British explorer Percy Fawcett searched for them in the early 1900s, he found no trace of these large populations. Why? Devastating diseases like smallpox and measles brought by European colonizers in the 16th and 17th centuries wiped out an estimated 80-95% of the indigenous population. Fawcett also didn't find the stone ruins typical of civilizations like Cusco or Tenochtitlan because the Amazon's people built with wood and earth, materials that decompose over time. What remained was a thick jungle and seemingly untouched soil but in reality, these lands had been shaped by humans for centuries. These lost cities are proof that ancient civilizations and the rainforest once thrived together in ways we're just beginning to uncover. As new LiDAR technology continues to scan the Amazon, there's excitement in the air. Who knows what other forgotten civilizations are still waiting to be discovered? The possibilities are endless. What are your thoughts on these incredible discoveries? Drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on more fascinating finds.